We're going to head down now to 21 Country for a look at creative ways folks have come up with to entertain their kids and take their minds off the COVID-19 crisis. Eric Olson reports. The COVID-19 pandemic has been tough on kids. No school, no play dates, no visits to the park or playground. But in one corner of 21 Country, you'll hear no complaints. And it really does spark a sense of adventure, I think, for people, for children. No complaints in Noble County because kids here are too busy trying to figure out who the new neighbors are. They live in tiny homes behind tiny doors near businesses, schools, parks. Behind the doors live fairies and gnomes and trolls, little friends who've come to entertain and educate. Part of an adventure devised by the Kendallville Library, Chamber of Commerce and County Visitors Bureau. We were talking about something that we could do in the community that supports early childhood literacy mm -hmm. and something that was free and fun for families to do with their young children. This project is very clever. Once a kid finds a door, she can snap a picture of the QR code next to it with a phone and be taken to a website, adventurenoblecounty.com, where she can read all about the little family that lives behind that door. This is Professor Hewitt Wisewicket's home outside the Kendallville Public Library. He welcomes patrons to what he calls the Hall of Knowledge. Clarissa Cloudmuffin, a young gnome, has taken up residence outside a consignment shop in Albion. Clarissa will tell you that she, not surprisingly, loves to collect old things. Patty Plumperbun's home is outside the Central Noble School Corporation building. Patty's a fairy who whispers encouragement in the ears of struggling students. These little doors create a fantastical world that some kids can take very seriously. A little boy outside of the donut shop, and he was seen screaming at the door saying, Are you in there? Are you in there? <laughs> the project began two years ago with 25 doors around the county. There are now 75, with more to be added next year. It's done all its creators had hoped, brought in tourists, attracted customers to businesses, and most importantly, captured young imaginations and encouraged them to read. A skill that, for the rest of their lives, will open all sorts of doors. Eric Olson reporting out in 21 Country. When we come back tonight, uh, we're going to turn our attention back to the weather. Here's a live look from our tower cam. You can see the clouds there. The storms have moved through. What can we expect next? Matt Leach tells us. 21 Country is brought to you by Three Rivers Federal Credit Union. When the 10th.